Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with uh, old none other than Roy Dog. Yeah, old Royston. Um, thought we'd come out, do what well, Troy's been here 24 hours already. Uh, what you had, Troy? Had a 59 cat. Yeah, so that's that's pretty uh pretty good. Um, yeah, we're just having a wander around now, so uh, see what we can see. Any signs or anything? Um, I've just got here, so can have a bit of a scope, so we can scope anything out. Yep. So yeah, I'll get back to you when we uh, when we start doing some fishing. But looks like old Frank's over here. Not your fishing boy, you had much. <laughs> So yeah, get back to you soon. Right, Roy Dog, what's the plan of action? Uh, get the catfish rod out, one side of the hedge, and then put a, a little wafter on. See if I can nab one of them carp along this bank somewhere. They've been set showing, but I haven't been eating anything at the moment. Well, there you go. We walked around when we had a walk around earlier. Um, see a lot of movement around there, a lot of carp and that moving about in the margin. So, are you going to give the old margin a go, are you, Royston? Yeah, I'll get it tight up there, just off the hedge, the far side. Um, and then on the carp rod, that'll be really tight up because carp in here tend to stick close to the banks. Um, most of the time, the catfish sort of dominate the midwater and sort of snag the bushy sort of areas. So, yeah, you're casting it, yeah. you're not using a boat. Go on, then let's see what you got. A little way off there, look, about rod length off that bank. Do well. Well, I'm finally fishing anyway. Um, I've just took the boat out, just stuck one up this margin here, a couple of rod lamps off the bank because it gives me a bit of a chance. I've only got 10 footers, um, and the other one I've stuck on about a rod length off that far bank, same as Troy. Um, to be honest, there's a lot moving around, you know, move my finger out the way. Yeah, there's a lot moving around everywhere, so where. Uh, I've just stuck the halibut out. Be nice to get a couple of catfish, to be honest with you. Um, I usually, well, both of us usually go sort of a couple of times, once or twice a year, just to, I find, you know, just to get, you know, lines wet and that really, uh, for catfish, because I quite like catching them. They're all right once a year, but if you're, if you're here after carp, you probably get hammered by them a lot, so. Yeah, and it's just pulled up, look. So that could be going soon. Get up there, well hopefully, I'll see you soon with a fish. What do you reckon, Royston? Yeah, I reckon that'll take off. One of them will anyway. Go on the boy. Oh yeah. What they got to get on, Troy? Get on the fin. <laughs> what are you doing, Roy? Getting Jack Sparrow's got on, mate. Jack Sparrow. What you got on there, Jared Dirt? <laughs> So this is Roy's second rod now going out. What are you um, putting out there, meal fruit? Just got a water on there um, with four mil halibut and some four mil pellets soaked in um, fin amino. And uh, what uh, what do you got on? Uh, it's got a classic form after. Oh yeah. Yeah. From spotted fin. Sure about that? Look into the camera. Well, I think it's that one or the. Uh, the <laughs> well, could be any one of them. Wonder which one it is. Well, well there's no hope if you don't even know what you put on, is there? <laughs> I reckon you've gone through the fruit zing, baby. Do well. Go on, Jack. See it start getting tight up there where them fish, well the carp was. You see a lovely, where was that nice ghost you saw earlier? It was over on your side near that white pole. Was that? Mm. Really nice. Looked like a nice mid dub. Yeah. There's a 20 old tiny ghost in there somewhere. 
Do well. Do well. It's a nice little uh, stage in there as well, so if I get taken up there, I can step out a little bit rather than stepping in. Do well. So yeah, I'm going to catch the boat for Roy Dog. See you shortly, hopefully, with a fish. Well, it took a couple of hours, boy, but... Yep, can't hold. Get in there. Getting that out for you. Double, Cross that took some quick. Cool. <laughs> nice too, mate. Well done. Then we got plenty of snags down there. Lovely common. Still full of life. Yeah. Don't fight yourself out. Do well. Well, we just had a tea, pizza, and uh, yeah, treated treated to this. And we're in, boy. Yeah. All right, we'll have a look on the bank. What do you reckon, Troy? Happy? Quiz in. Yeah. <laughs> play this game, are we? Okay. Still full of life. I get it. How big was this? 18 and a half pound. Always oh, common. What did it fall to? Oh. That was the. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fell to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fruit zing, wasn't it? Uh, By Spot Finn? Yeah, it was fruit zing, yep. Yeah. Oh, that tore off. Yeah, nice little dungbell off the. Uh, some pellets, like I say, soaked in the thin amino stuff. So a nice sweet sort of flavour around the around the baits and stuff. Um, some crushed classic corn in the PVA mix. And yeah, just a solid bag over to the far side. And uh, yeah, this guy beat the catfish to it. So yeah, happy days. Let's get a bag. Well, it's now starting to um, get dark. What's the time, Troy? It's now quarter, quarter past quarter past eight nearly. 10 past 8. So yeah, um, it's gone eerie. It's weird, um, usually when we come up here, it's fish everywhere, boshing about and can't usually, you usually get pestered by cats, but it's still quite early. Um, the pollen's about, look at that. Been blowing for all day. But yeah, just thought I'd update you. Got the kettle on, gonna have a brew. And then probably see what the night brings. So hopefully, be back to you with a fish. Isn't that right, Royston? Yep, should be a few during the night, I think. Get up there. Well, here we are. What is it now? Quarter to one. Just been woke up by... Troy's just been woke up. <coughs> if we can pick it up. If you can pick it up. It'll remain. Still kicking. Yeah, nice little double. Again, absolute screamer on the on the wafter. In a little solid bag. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a catfish, but another nice little common. <coughs> yeah, get back and get some sleep, eh? <laughs> well done, Troy. Good morning. Um... A bit of a funny old night, really. Troy had um, carp, and uh, we were both sort of, I don't know whether there's a lot of trailers here, but both were just getting weird runs where they were tearing off, um, but then hitting into nothing. I lost one early hours, was probably four o'clock in the morning. I took, I, you know, I felt it, played it for a bit, and I hook pulled, so. Um, but yeah, no, we were both up all night, literally. My rods, both of my rods were going off sort of every, I'm not even exaggerating, probably every 15 minutes. Um, so, yeah, so it's a bit strange. So, I've just got up, rebated everything. Um, could have a bit of breakfast and still a bit of time for a bite. So, hopefully, I see one on the bank. But, just happy that Troy's had a couple of carp. So, yeah, it's good stuff. I'll uh, see you soon. 
Well, as you can see, sad times. We're getting ready, getting packed up slowly but surely. Um, probably just give you an nice view of my snout then when I turn my phone around, but hey ho, it's raw. So, um, yeah, I got got smashed up, got snapped off again, which is really annoying because I've hooked two now and lost two, which is separate the men from the boys, don't I? <laughs> Troy's had it, um, two carp, one catfish. We've still got about an hour and a half, I reckon, left. Um, so, we've still got time. You know, anything can happen with fishing. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll be back to you with a fish, but if not, it's looking like I could be blanking. Um, I don't usually blank, usually blank on this place, but is what it is, it's fishing, it's how it goes sometimes. Nice to get out, I suppose, isn't it? Nice for us to get out and make a video, and nice yeah. for us to get fishing together again. Isn't <coughs> that Roy? Yeah. Venues in mind this year, haven't we? So. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully we will get a couple more sessions in. So yeah, do well. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Hello, guys. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit of a change of scenery. Uh, I'm walking around the uh, woods now with Dora the Explorer and the wife. Um, so yeah, we didn't have anything in the end. Um, I ended up calling it a day in a strop. Um, it's always horrible when you hook into fish and just lose them and come home empty handed so it just is what it is part of fishing isn't it so but <clears throat> I got out got the camera out um, had a uh, oh, snowy shout out to snowy um, keep hassling me to put a new video out with the uh, with the brother and that so just know it's your fault I'll come home depressed today <laughs> but you know um, just what I say shout out to snowy shout out to uh, spotted fin as well for the support over the couple of years and uh, the wife for letting me out so uh yeah see you in the next one